Man, yo, I just want to give a quick moment out to the worm. I just squished by accident by the tree when I was in a little light spar. And before I get in here, you know what I'm saying? Get me in the zone if I do this video. And rest in peace, little wormy. You was cool. Uh, I didn't get a chance to know know you as a person or, or a worm. But I just want to say, I'm sure your family out there, they misses you. Because I'm sure you was holding it down. You was probably out looking for some food, aka worm food. I don't know what that is. And you didn't expect to not come home. So I went out there um, after I felt some, you know, salt underneath my foot. I jumped up real quick. I didn't even know. And then I came back out and I just, I didn't see you moving. I didn't see you moving. So look, yo, that just goes to show you, man, forgiveness. Forgiveness is key. You gotta forgive, forgive yourself. And it's so funny how like, you know, I did the whole thing about the worm because today is all about forgiveness. You have to forgive yourself of anything. That's why I didn't expect to do that. Like for real, you should be forgiving yourself for everything. I'm talking about, you have to relieve, release that old pattern of holding like shit onto yourself and, you know, judging yourself and, and not, not allowing yourself to learn and fully be, be fully attentive without, you know, judging yourself every second. Like for real, if you're if you're judging yourself every second, then you're not fully attentive to what's going on. Therefore, you're not able to intercept and learn from it. Meaning that you're supposed to be listening when you're talking. All right, if you guys understand that, when you're when you're supposed to be listening and you're talking, you're not gonna get the message. That's what it's all about. Did you get the message? Release the pattern of not forgiving yourself. That should be important, key. Before you expect to acquire or come into huge or or get out of that or whatever it is. I'm talking about getting out of 9 to 5, get out of that slave mind, get out of the poverty mindset, get out of the market six, anything like that. That is a mindset from you not forgiving yourself. It's all about releasing that was attached to you. Detach. Actually, it's all about detaching what was attached to you as you were learning through those vital years. From I'm talking about the vital years when you were like 7, 8, 9. Now you being 29, 28, 30, that doesn't mean shit. All it means is you're going around in another stage. You're going through a rebirthing stage. You know what that means, right? So you gotta put Monday through Sunday aside. I know, because that's all we equate our lives on is Monday through Sunday, three, six, five. And then we let that dictate our life and then hold us backwards. We gotta put that aside and understand this from, look, where is my energy now? Am I holding on to things? Am I constantly thinking about that? Is this going through my mind? Because what you think about over and over again, even when you're not attentive to it, meaning that you're not paying attention to it, that is what creates your next step, your next chapter. That is what I was saying. Forgiveness is today's vital key. Utilize this solar flare with a massive portal going on right now to forgive yourself from everything. Meaning that you should be releasing tears. Tears should be coming down from your eyes. When tears come down, that means your spirit is healing. That means your soul is he uh, healing. I'm telling you right now, when your tears are coming down from your eyes, that means your soul is healing. That means you're releasing karmic ties. That's all that means. I know they label this, oh man, you put it in the... Ah. No. Let's just say tears works Wonders, and I'm gonna leave it at that because it's gonna sound real strange. I ain't trying to sound strange, yeah. You're like, What dog, nigga? This kid can't be on this. No, they can't be. You. Yes, tears work wonders, no matter what it don't matter what gender you are. Tears work wonders. Matter of fact, yo, check out my next video. Yo, I'm about to tell y'all some real powerful shit because I try to keep it at like a neutral standpoint. I don't try to go into depth on things like that because uh, let's just say that's not. That's frowned upon on YouTube. So I, I keep it brief, brilliant. I keep it general because you know what I'm saying? Like, let's just say it's sensitive these days, the algorithm. But look, I'm gonna tell y'all some powerful information. Just look, just like this video and support this channel. Just check out the description box because everything goes back to y'all. Actually, I'm doing more for y'all. I feel like I'm gonna give everything back to y'all because y'all the people that's been riding with me when I've been going through like my darkest nights. Y'all the people that's been coming, you know, chilling. And even if it's a comment here or there, you know what I'm saying? It's better than completely ghosts. You feel me? It's a better than other shit that I'm saying. It's positive. It's a step. Look, it starts by the small efforts. You feel me? Like, it don't mean it don't mean it got to be this big drastic thing. That's how it builds up to that. But look, y'all, I ain't going to keep this video no longer. But look, 
So forgiveness. And I bet you notice a bunch of things that's coming into your life right now that's asking you that no matter no matter of fact that is pushing you in the route to forgive. It could be forgiving other people, forgiving yourself, forgiving anything. Situation, economic, oh, life did me horrible. Oh, the government is bad. Oh, they taxed my shit. Yeah, forgive all that shit because that's holding you back. Make more money. Build a different business. Hustle. I'm telling you, made carpentry, that went up by $3.4 billion in the last two years. That means more people are requiring, you know, cleaning services, carpentry work. I'm talking about more people requiring yard service, uh, you know, agriculture, you know, well, yeah, I said agriculture, but more people, you know, growing shit. Like more people is requiring all that shit now. And I'm talking about people as the people, the demand, the dollar. Even though I know when they inflate the dollar, but still that just means more money is going to be made. That's it. It ain't stopping money at all. It never stopped money. It's just, they're just putting an excuse to charge things and raise the cost. So that way it weans out the middle class. That's all it is. They're trying to wean out the middle class. That's it. You feel me? It's an excuse, a justification to wean out the middle Remember how they're saying it's going to wean out the middle class? How you think they're going to do it? Raise costs by giving money away. That way they got a justification. And they say, oh, we got to raise this and raise that and raise that. So then that way they, they have an excuse to just do that. I'm telling you, that's really all it really is. <laughs> so when you think about it in the day, you just go into business or you just build a business that everybody needs. That's it. And then when you think about it like this, that's when you just, you know, you know for what is, what is. So at the end of the day, what can you do? So I'm telling y'all right now, that's why it's important to forgive yourself. And you got infinite in your spiritual bank account. How you think you access that? Forgive yourself, forgive others, forgive everything. Look, you're not doing them a favor, you're doing yourself a favor. And that's all that should be said. Yo, stay tuned to my next video, yo. I'm out.